Well, no major metro area in America has seen a rent decrease in the last decade, and Cincinnati is no different. No, it isn't. So what happens when wages don't increase at the same rate as rent? Walter Smith Randolph takes a look at the affordable housing crisis that could be keeping many in poverty right here in the tri-state. Part of this is deciding whether or not we want to be a Portland or a San Francisco or New York City or any number of other places where if you work in the city, you, you know, you can't afford to live there. Stats show we're headed down that expensive path. In the last decade, rent in Cincinnati has increased by 43.6%. At the same time, hourly wages have increased by 29.1%. All of this has created a path that pushes out cost burdened renters. Bennett Point is the Cincinnati Metropolitan Housing Authority's first new development project in the city limits in the last decade. Construction will begin in the spring of 2021. It's a great opportunity for the Housing Authority to show uh, what the diversity, the Housing Authority, and how the Housing Authority can play a role in development in the city of Cincinnati. Bennett Point adds 56 units of low-income housing. That still leaves the city 40,000 units short. People are working just as hard and they're not making as much. And to be able to afford quality, affordable housing is becoming more and more difficult for people. Cost burden households, as defined by HUD, pay more than 30% of income for housing. More than 130,000 area renters were cost burdened, based on data out of Harvard's Joint Center for Housing Studies. I think what we have to do is look broadly and say, um, who needs it? And what is affordable housing? And how do we look at it in a community? Uh, the short answer is no. There's not enough. Um, the large answer is, well, what levels of affordable housing are there? Because there's different levels of affordable housing. Bennett Point will be developed in Pendleton, right across from the casino and less than a half mile from the new Kroger. The development is all in an effort to help reduce poverty in Cincinnati. We don't want to be a city where if you work here, you can't afford to live here. We want this to be a place that continues to attract new people, new jobs, new business, uh, without displacing folks. In downtown Cincinnati, Walter Smith Randolph, Local 12 News. CMHA has several projects right now involving interior and exterior updates. Johnson told us they have nearly a billion dollars in renovations. You can find out more about CMHA's plans. Just go to CincinnatiPoverty.com.